it's round three of Division Four in the Kings of Rugby, and they are back for their next matchup to Canning, the opposition in the first two games. Now it is the turn of Montwa to take on the mighty Kings. Here is the Kings side, unchanged yet again from what we've seen from their opening two matches. A very strong 15 now and a very strong bench as well that we will look to use in the second half of this game. Here are their opponents, it's Montwa. And what do we know about these guys? Not a huge amount. This side looks out of players that could post some threats outside. You see a couple of Fijians out there. Wakaya on outside centre. But that is probably the only danger we've got to look out for. It is the Kings of Rugby in the black. And it's Montoya in the white. And we look set to go here. Dan Carter with the ball in hand. And he is going to look to get this game underway. Any second now, Daniel. Here we go. Away we go. Kings of Rugby looking to take out Montoya. And here goes the first ball. Ruck goes down and the Kings just don't quite get onto the ball quick enough. And Montoya looks to use their back line nicely. Turnover ball. It's there for Antonio. Now they go to the back line. It's out eventually for Ioani. And Ioani breaks through one. Rico Ioani puts a fan on. Gets away from... Oh, he's dropped the ball. And once we get away, a kick. Oh, missed at the back. That could have been the danger. Running onto it at speed. We've got a line-out option. We're going to go with a full line-out. Seven-man option for the Kings of Rugby. What can they cook up here? That was should have been almost a try there. To the front they go. Easily pulled down and straight into contact goes Danny Kerr. He's wrapped up by the opposition hooker for Montoya. And now they use the back line. Oh, a little trip and a little go. Through they go. Scott Williams. Matt Benahan takes a hit. Goes to Daniel Carter. Carter is through. Looks at Grummer ahead. Where's the speedster? Here he comes. It is Campagnaro. But Dan Carter is the one who takes the tackle. Oh, and almost a turnover. They go for the box kick. And waiting back there is Danny Kerr. Floats it, a deep ball back. And here is Scott Williams, away from one. And Banami puts the arm out for the fend. There's drag down Kerr, flat to Carter. Quickly out wide for oh, Banahan. Dropped like a plank. And a tree in the forest goes falling down. Flat ball, nothing Yuani can do about that. A terrible set play there from the breakdown. Now they come out wide. And Banami again, really all alone here. The Kings struggling for someone to go with the front foot ball, and it's Danny Kerr. He goes through. Well, I want the fullback here. Oh, and he's shunted. Big hit there from the Montoya fullback. Now they're on the front foot. They're going wide. It's Sinclair away to Matt Benahan, and then it's try number one. Kings score the opening try. That is what they do, and that is how they score. Fantastic play through the backs. And it is finally after Danny Kerr that drew the Montwood defenders in. Matt Banahan gets the try. But that was what it all was. The Montwood defense are all over that. Kyle Sinclair with a brilliant offload in the tackle as well. And Matty Banners, he puts the celebration up as he gets a nice dive out to the sideline. 20 minutes, not quite on the clock. 17 is exact. And here's Daniel Carter. A legend of rugby union for Moral Black, but an absolute stunning player. To take the conversion, he's sitting three out of four all season. He's hit the upright. Oh, big oohs and ahs around the crowd. As the score stays at 5-0. Deep kick off here from Montoya. It's picked up here from Hingabobby. Now here come... The Kings of Rugby again for Kondoisa. Strikes away one. Keeps going, Isa. Oh, finally he goes to ground. No, oh, that is a great... That was a great turnover, but we've got a, a foul called by the referee, and it is an offside. What are they going to do here, the Kings? Uh, what are we going to do? The option taken is a kick for touch. Daniel Carter will line this one up. He smacks it away. Wow. Thunderous punt from Daniel Carter. And that goes almost to the 22. Took his time to make the decision. But the call has been made. There we go. Another line out here for the Kings of Rugby. Mbanami with the ball. Standing in a hooker. It's the option. And there they go. 
Oh, where do they go here, the Kings? Finally, it comes in. Goodness me. Kier gets a terrible ball, but it goes to Rico Ioane. He's got a straight line run. Can he go away? He will indeed. Too fast. Rico Ioane scores another. That set play from the lineouts is nothing short of phenomenal by the Kings of Rugby. Look at that. Hits it nicely. Fullback comes across. Nowhere near enough speed for Rico. Celebration on the ground. Well played, kid. Just how he smokes that inside line. Look at that. The left winger, he had no choice. He had to cover wide. And he just opened up the door for Rico to go straight through. Montoya full further behind. And Daniel Carter will gleefully take an easy shot at goal from right in front. 10-0 the score. 22 minutes on the clock. The Kings taking apart this lowly side. Here he comes, Carter. Gives that one a bit of Larry Dooley and puts it into the crowd. It is 12-0. The Kings over Montoya. Deep kick again. This time it is Danny Kier who tries to spin a wee web. And it's taken down. Antonio goes away. Carter. Oh, flat ball. They get it away just. Got to do something clever here. It's tied. Byrne. Byrne. Look at him go. The big man. He is steaming upfield. What a run. Ball quickly out now. Kier. Oh, gets it off right away. Carter should have hung on to there. And now they go through. Oh, good run there. And now it slides back all the way to Guani. They don't really know where they're going here. The Kings have ruined that opportunity they had. Here's a, a bit of a scamper from Scott Hingerbotham. Former Wallaby. Here is Carter. Oh, Daniel Carter! Put it away! You're too old for that! Here, all his advantage. Keeping it alive, though, here are the Kings. And the run is over. There's him, but Army slides behind. Oh, he had support. Now he's lost it. Maybe he should have kicked it. And Benami the hooker. Maybe not. Oh, and that is a blatant offside. Sinclair drew that one. Hook and line. And Sinclair, too easy. So, well, the Kings have opted for a scrum here. But surprising. Well, they would have gone for a kick to the corner. Crouch is a call. Dan Carter standing very close. Set. So what is the tactic here by the Kings? Oh, going a bit behind here, losing an initial hit. Now they're getting control here, the Kings. This is where they pride themselves, being one of the best teams in the division, is in the forward pack. The scrum is definitely strong. Kier goes, oh, Kier, what have you done, Danny Kier? That was terrible. Daniel Carter, though, look at him. Control the breakdown like he's a back rower. Campag Naro finds the ball out wide after a good bust. Rico Ioani taking out the last defender. Oh, what a tackle. That was a prowler of a tackle there. And the ball, a little box kick away. Finds Matt Banahan who trickles his way out to his wing. Straightens up. Beats a tackle. Matt Banahan puts a little grubber through. It's a touch. Oh, it is. What's a brilliant kick from Matt Banahan. Maybe if he kept that in the field of play, it could have been a... Wow, What? Well, that is deemed to be going out inside the field of play. Or well, outside, I should say, in the end goal. It's gone back for a 22. Here is Antonio. He does squirt it out eventually. And Mikel Campagnaro finds another man to shrug away. Now he passes. And it's there for Johnny Gray. Who knows one way, and that is forward. Kier floats it out wide nice Enrico Iwani gets inside again he could be away for another try the spin the break but he is just short Carter's the first man there and well what he did before was spectacular oh a little crossfield box kick and that is gifted a chance here for Matt Bannerham oh you do not do that to Matty Bangers that was suicidal and that has been a gift of a try from Montua straight to the Kings why, oh, why would you do that to Matt Banahan? Look at the numbers. One, two, and I think that looked like the running speed of a three. The whole front row was out there defending Banahan. Suicidal rugby by Montois. And the Kings top down. Another brilliant little celebration there from Matt Banahan, who grabs a double now against Montois. Right on the stroke of halftime. I think it might have been halftime for a while. Um, but 17-0, Montoya haven't even been in this game 
And we can't up the difficulty. We can only go up the legs and face harder sides. Carter stepping to the left. He's got one out of two so far today, Daniel. And he makes that two out of three. Halftime is the call as a spectator gets sconed by the rugby ball. But that is half time. Let's have a look at some stats. Three tries, two conversions, only five tackles. But Montoire, not the hardest team in the league. You've got to say, we've been pushed harder by others so far. And hopefully the second half will have a bit more of a challenge. We'll bring on some subs because why the hell not? Let's bring on Dylan Lades because he's a, a spectacular little player. Um, he's got the same pace as Scott Williams, but a winger, fullback, fly half. So we bring him on for Daniel Carter. Just, just because Carter is a bit of an icon, but he's getting a bit old. So let's bring Dylan Lades on. Via Fafita, let's bring another New Zealander back onto the field. Um, Todd Byrne's been pretty good. Uh, anyone getting really tired? Doesn't seem like it. Um, what do we move around here? Fakundu Issa or Scott Higginbotham? Who's really losing the charm here? Let's bring on some more speed. Let's bring Higginbotham off. And we'll bring Via Fafita on. That is going to give us one hell of a fast back row. Tommy Bowe would like to see some time out in the middle. Banner handles looking for a hat trick. So, yeah, we don't want Rico to get into it. This game is in the bag. So let's bring um, the Irish legend on on one side. And, you know, no, let, let's not bring Mapimpy on because I do want to see um, a hat trick. So we could bring on Sean Cronin as well for Mbanambi, who's been fantastic. And Antonio can come off for Kieran Brooks. The Englishman can make another return to the side. Let's keep a couple of reserves here. And no, no, no. Push the right button, you idiot. Let's get back to the second half. It's 19-0. Kings of Rugby over Montoire. <laughs> Quickly back to the action we go. And they should know Charles Piatel was not a man to kick to. But they've done very well there to actually contain him. Any care? Oh, that was a bit messy. Now they get a bit of structure. It's, oh, a diving attempt. It's Matt Banahan. Breaks away yet again. Banahan looking. Can he find someone? No, he didn't give it enough juice. Oh, there were so many numbers out there. I love that little sideways kick there. Especially on the line break. It looks brilliant. Brooks. Oh, what a pass. Oh, there it goes. To the late for the corner. The Springbok. Chopped down as he ran out of room. Big pass out here. Johnny Gray receives. Out it goes. Matt Banahan. Hat trick try to the winger. And the T celebration to Matt Banahan. He is the ultimate journeyman. And he is really a favourite of the channel here. Look at this pass. It was an absolute corker. And already the hat trick in the bag. For Matty Banners. Well, poor old Tommy Bowes waiting on the other wing. He hasn't touched the ball yet. Banahan goes in for try number three. And the Kings, well, they just extend the lead that little bit further. Look at the speed of them. Three tries, a lot of running. No problem. No problem for Matty Banners. He is clinical. Seven minutes into the second half. We have another try. Third now. And it is our fourth overall. Rico Ioani picking up the other one. He's off the field. The wingers having a field day. Tommy Bow would uh, love to get involved. I think Mapimpi would love to get involved too, but unlikely. Oh, Daniel! Might be going to see Mapimpi on. Might give him a half of the next match. But so much quality in this team. As Daniel Carter shows that maybe it's not as good as we thought. Here is Charles Piantel. Oh, look at him go! He is a machine. He scored one of the greatest tries of the series. There's advantage here. That is a massive offside. Ball is there. And it's by Fafitu. Plays it away to... Oh, Tommy Bow! That is disgusting. Bow goes through. Has he got the legs? Oh, he does. He has the power as well. But the defence catches up with him. Kier. Sinclair. Out wide. Manny Banahan. He's going to look to go alone. He puts a little grubber. Will it beat him to the touchline? No, it will not. Oh, what a try from Matt Banahan, who is having the game of his life. Celebrations all round here for the Kings. Absolutely outstanding from Matt Banahan. The ball just, and I mean just, held up. 
Fantastic finish. He is a clinical finisher. It was an awkward grubber. It was an awkward bounce. Everything about that try was awkward, but the finish was nothing short of a Banahan spectacular special. Now to take this one back a bit. Oh, of course, Dan Carter's off the field. Dylan Lades is on, so that means Danny Kerr is taking over the goal-kicking duties. Dan Carter, two out of three. Uh, not his, his best day. I didn't even notice who took the first one. Here is Danny Kerr, though. He's going to swing this around. Oh! Oh, it's short! Oh, that is a real disappointment there from Danny Kerr. That was a great kick. Perfectly executed, but here is Mikel Campagnaro. Takes contact, gets a pass away. Still going near the kicks. Oh, come on, Tommy Bow. He is not having a great day of it. Let's have a look at the replay. It's this tackle here picked up. Oh, absolutely lit to go. So we got an option here for the Kings. What are we going to do now? The option is there for Dylan Lakes who's looking to smack this one into touch and he does so nicely as well. He's having a steady start to the match here late. Another line out this time we got Cronin on the field. Oh, and then it's resulted in a yellow card if things could not get worse. Well, they just have. To the back they go. Oh, and they've held it in here actually. Looking for the mall, but Danny Kier says no, let's get that out of here. Charging forward is Karen Brooks, who had a, a great game early in the season. He's lost that ball. No one was interested in joining that ruck at all. Now White Kier makes a good tackle. Sinkler quickly over the top. Cam Pagnaro on the head there. Finds out White too. Oh, the try scoring machine. That is Matt Benahan. He's got his kick away. What a ball is turn from Benahan. Dylan Lades is chasing. Lades to the corner. Oh, he's just taken. Great tackle it was. Why is no one joining up ruck? What a shame we didn't score that one. Oh, that would have been a cracker. The hour mark ticks over. Wow, what a try that would have been. We're waiting for that highlight reel try. That crossfield kick is devastating. Line out again. Cronin looking to pop it in. Nicely to the front. Squirts it quickly out. Oh, it's gone straight to Fakunda Isa. Oh, look at him. Living on to Tinnin. Oh, here's a monster. And... I was saying surely he's over. No, it's stolen. Montois do well. Ball is kicked away and it's chased back there from Campagnaro. He's getting in the way of my player. Campagnaro, look at him go. Inside out. Reset here. It's got to be quick ball. It's goal. He should have hung on to that. And then it goes wide and Tommy Bow surely will score. He does. Should have hung on. He was in behind there in the initial bus. Tommy Bow finally gets his try. We see the replay here. Should have gone himself. He drew the defence. He had done enough. Made it a little bit harder. But eventually, the replacement, Tommy Bow, puts it over on the sideline. Well played, Kings. They are devastatingly good when they get going, which against this weak Montois side, they have not really issued a challenge here for this champion team, the Kings of Rugby. Well, I, I regret doing that now because last time Denny Kier put it short after perfectly executing it. It just fell a meter or two under the bar. Right, now we've got to get this one right. We've got a bit of a breeze. We're going to rely on that a bit. Kier. Oh, that is nice from Denny Kier. He has absolutely smoked that one. Deep kick this time once again from Montoya. Here is Charles Piertel. Oh, nasty, nasty tackle there on Piertel. A thumper across the top of the head. Watch this bang. Oh, well, that's going to need some painkillers very, very soon. Pop that man a pill. He's going to need it. To the Kings option all this time. Dylan Lades has said, let's play, boys. Let's score some more points. How wide they go. Oh, Kyle Sinclair all alone out there. Here, pick and go, changes his mind, goes back to Vyatt Feet. Oh, intercept! And Montour go away! This could be their chance to score! But unfortunately for them, it's with their big second rower. Big chance though, inside the 22. Oh, if they could have spread that nicely, they could be in for the try. Wow! 
monster of a hit there. Ball's turned over, and that is where it'll end here for Montois. Oh, what an offload that was. They go through the back line, and it's options, an opportunity here. Johnny Gray. Ball is quickly out. Oh, that is a terrible, terrible penalty to give away. Lazy runners all over the shop here. Offload, nice seat. Campag Naro has been dealt with well. And is there still advantage? There is indeed. So we will go back for the penalty. And I do think, yes, we're going to see another one. Dylan Lades says, I want to play. And Dylan Lades says, I want to play my way. He's gone through. But he just ran out of steam there. Looking to put the finishing touches on this one. Oh, just hung on to. Almost a mistake there. Pick and go again from Keir. Oh, that's trouble. Needs to get it out there. Kieran Brooks says, throw it wide, boys. At Campag Naro goes to Bo, back inside to Cronin. Out they go. Oh no, that's been missed. And running back there is Fakundo Issa. They've lost a good 20 metres here. The Kings. Looking to use the back line. Oh, Campag Naro is caught. Montoya's hooker is all over him. Oh, and he just gets away from him in a thumper from behind. Williams, away to Fafita. Strong run from Brian Fafita. Here is a big play. It's Matt Banahan. Not adding to those tries in the first half. Cronin looks to force his way through. Full time is up. Oh, takes out his feet. And it's advantage to the Kings. Here's Campan Naro. He slides through one. Oh, he needs some friends. He needs someone to help the man out. Good run in there. And great support. Flat ball to Johnny Gray. They stand off him because they know there's plenty of numbers there. Hitting hard as Issa. Quick ball out for Campan Naro. Looking to use the bags. It's Benahan. He'll cap it off with one for oh, no. He's chopped down to short. Lades. Smashes it in. Here is Scott Williams! And that'll be a try! Yes? Yes! 43-0. How long has the second half gone? I don't even know. I didn't notice the 80 minutes. There's no buzzer. But Scott Williams. Oh, it should have been another try there for Banners. But unselfishly, he pops it back. And Scott Williams! Man, oh, that was a high shot too. Referee having no hesitation to award that try. Just run out of steam there. Matt Banahan, he has had, speaking of steam, an absolute corker of a game. Oh, Scott Williams, he just stopped and just went boop and took him out. Disregard for his opponent's welfare and uh, well-being there. He has cracked him out of the way. Danny Kerr will finish this one. Could make it 45-0 couple of misconversions they would have been almost at the half century but a great game here by the Kings Montois have had nothing they've had no chance they've been completely blitzed and that'll be full time there it goes well devastation on the faces of the Montois players but uh, it's not been their day at all the Kings of Rugby have completely shut them out and there has only been one team in this game and it is the Kings Complete devastation. Completely owning Montoya here today. Five and a half thousand points. Thank you very much. As we have a look at the scoreboard. Well, 68 tackles to nine. That's what I read. But we've seen previous matches. The Kings have had to work against the better sides. Montoya is not one of the better sides. And that just shows completely. We completely outrated the side um, in a big way. And due to that... Just not the level of opposition that the Kings of Rugby are up for. So we've put these guys to bed. We've absolutely smashed them. 45-0 and 7-try drubbing of Montois. So good game, good performance, plenty of tries, plenty of excitement as the Kings dot down another win. Bonus point as well. Okay, so following the completion of round three, the Kings going up by a big margin there, 45 to nil over Montois. We also seen London Irish put a big score on Narbonne. Next up, Narbonne is at home up against the Kings. Uh, that is round four, and then we do have two more rematches there. We've got the London Irish and then Montois yet again. So 15 points at the moment for the Kings after half the season. 
They look home and hose to take out Division 4. And finally, we might get, get into some harder teams here. London Irish, well, we beat them 26-0. Narbona beat 26-0 as well. You can see there, they were tougher matches, but really, um, we thrashed uh, Montoya here today. So, hopefully, we have some tougher teams in Division 3. Uh, but at the moment, we can only beat what's in front of us. It's on the hardest difficulty. We are doing everything right at the moment with the Kings. So, hopefully, we can truck on in to the third division uh, let's see the side because we do want to quickly loan out those guys we don't need um, Adir Lucan, Godwin and Liam Gill don't need those guys still I don't want to give them any game time so one more match, let's get rid of them yes whoopsie, didn't want to do that and yes, let's get rid of Kyle Godwin for another game as well, we'll keep these guys in the squad um, of course we're going to put the subs back into the starting lineup again um, annoyingly how it changes that all the time but that is it really for today's episode I might as well do this while I'm closing out the video um, another good win for the Kings they did all they had to do to put this game to bed and you can't really blame them they have been pretty much the best side in this division without question last one we've got Dylan Lades coming up Dylan Lades was impressive wasn't he um, Dan Carter back on the field to start and that is it the third match oh I always push the wrong button of Division 4, done and dusted. We are only three games away from the third division. Until next time, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the series. More tries, more fun, more excitement coming soon on Rugby 18. Until next time, thanks for watching. And as always, take care.